por poco. Uh, por poco. What does this mean? Por poco, por poco means almost. There's another Spanish word for this. Casi, casi means also almost. But you can also say por poco. Por poco. Okay? Por poco. For example, por poco me caigo de la cama. Por poco me caigo de la cama. This means I almost fell out the bed. <laughs> almost. Almost. You you didn't fall out of out, out the bed. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It was an almost situation. So that's pretty good. So let's break this down and let's see how this sentence works. Por poco. That's our phrase. Almost. Yo me caigo or me caigo. I fell out. Now, here is something very interesting. Caigo comes from the verb caer, which means to fall. But when saying I almost did something or I almost, you know, in this situation, fell in Spanish, you don't use past tense. You use present tense. Okay. Caigo. Caigo. Yo caigo. I fall. Okay. So the literal translation is I almost fall out the bed. That's how it works in Spanish. You don't need the uh, predicate tense, the past tense, like you have it here. Fell. Fell in Spanish is caí. Caí. But when you when something almost happens, you use present tense. You don't use predicate tense. Okay. That's something important to notice here. Caer de or caigo de. That's when you add more to the sentence. Okay. Caer de or caigo de la cama. Bed. The, ve the bed. Okay. La cama, the bed. Caer de. In this situation, is similar to saying to fall out. And then you add the rest, in this case, the bed, right? Um, but caer can be used in so many different situations. You can say different things. Um, it means to fall, to hang, um, to drop in some situations, okay? We can talk about caer in a different lesson, but when talking about falling out the bed, you use the verb caer, caer, okay? And a very, if you want to learn the whole term, caer de la cama, okay? Caer de la cama, I'm just gonna put it here, down here. You don't see it, but I'll, I'll just do this, okay, perfect. Caer de la cama, means to fall out the bed, okay? Caer de is used when you want to add more to the sentence. And caer means to fall, okay? <laughs> very easy, very easy. Por poco is used often at the beginning of sentences. Por poco, and then ta da that, you add the rest of the sentence. Um, and it's very similar to saying, well, almost. When you want to say I, you could say uh, por poco yo me, you need me, because it works with this verb and the action that we're talking about. 
Uh, and then, obviously, you add the rest. Por poco me caigo de la cama. Okay. Now, let's, let me show you another example. Por poco me caigo del um, I just want to add more I'm going to give you another example so it's more clear por poco me caigo when you use de it's like if you are somewhere in, in this case on the bed or if you are I don't know on the bus or in your car um, for example por poco me caigo del carro or auto, or coche, it means car, okay? Uh, you're saying I almost uh, fell out the car, you know? I, I, you almost somehow got out of, well, you almost got out of the car for whatever reason, okay? Uh, you can also say, por poco me caigo. Um, or let's change this verb, por poco me Roban. They almost, uh, you know, robar means to steal, to rob. They almost rob, robbed me, right? Or um, something similar to that. If, if you get robbed, then obviously, well, you can use the verb robar. Por poco me roban. But you're saying that they almost kidnapped you <laughs> because robar can also in some situations can be used uh, if you're talking about kidnapping but uh, uh, poco me um, me gano la lotería lotería I believe lotería needs an accent mark yep Okay, por poco me gano la lotería. And this means I almost won the, the lotto, you know, lottery, the lottery. Okay, so this is present tense, you see. Por poco me gano la lotería. I almost won the lotto. In span in English, you have it in past tense. In Spanish, you need it in present tense. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. So yeah, por poco means uh, almost. It's often use, used at the beginning of the sentence. And that's it. And that's it. 